Hey folks, Palm here. Uh, today I just want to talk a little bit about EA co-editing and uh, more specifically Become a Living God and the Mastering Evocation course. And I wanted to bring this up because there are a lot of people in my circle of friends who are slandering the whole thing. Now I'm not going to be hypocritical and start saying that the circle of friends are wrong. I'm not trying to influence anybody's thoughts or worldview through this video. I'm just going to give my particular review in regard to this. I had an intention of making an what I call investment, okay? And uh, I decided that investment needed to go into a grimoire that was associated with a particular current that I've been working. But in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, okay, it's either this grimoire or I can just purchase the Become a Living God course and see what's in it because I was curious, I'm not going to lie. I ended up buying a grimoire. But I still had this thought, I want to know what's in that course. I want that course. I want that course. And hours later, a student of mine comes to the house and he says, hey, check this out, bro. Look what I bought. And I got a chance to review the course. And I took some notes. I'm utilizing a lot of material from the course. Now, the course is great. I don't care what you folks say. You know, I love you guys. But the course is absolutely incredible. And I'm going to give you my reasons for feeling this way. And there's a bunch of them. Okay. Number one is because back in the um, early 90s, probably late 80s, martial arts instructors started filming instructional videos and these guys were hated for doing it because the traditionalists said it was impossible to learn through such an avenue. Okay? And you look now towards the future since that bridge from video, well, the, the whole video movement was really the bridge. Now you look at today and there's online martial arts schools where you can actually attain rank via correspondence and video work. Not to say that, you know, I agree that you can learn through this method the same way you can learn through having a personal one-on-one -on -one instructor, but if you yourself have the uh, work ethic, you can make it work, you know, it's up to you. And I find this very similar. I find it very similar because basically what he's done is he's taken um, the whole concept of gaining information from occult books and he's completely changed it into a format that is more applicable to today's technological ways. I mean, come on, this is the year 2013, going on 14. Okay. I just thought it was awesome. The quality, no. There were some issues with the quality. However, the quality was not due to cheap cameras and audio equipment. I can tell you that from experience. The quality is from spiritual activity because I have had evocations that my circle have done uh, filmed. And a lot of the same phenomenon happened with the uh, audio equipment. I mean, there was points where Okay, EA is doing an evocation. Um, 
within the desert. The audio, the audio equipment goes bonkers. And then all of a sudden I see this force from the direction of the camera rush at him and just dissipate and start to move around the circle. And it was right in front of him, to his left, off to the side. And then he says, the spirit's all around me. I can feel it. And he starts describing what he's sensing and perceiving at this point in time. And I just thought it was awesome because, you know, I saw this happen. Um, I couldn't just uh, knock it off to screwy pixelation within the camera, although it obviously did manifest in that way, um, from my perspective. I, and there would, there would be no way for him to know that. It's an impossible synchronicity. How could he be lying about what I was perceiving? And you'll find these audio um, anomalies happen throughout the course. Throughout the whole course, I saw spiritual manifestations of some sort. I shouldn't say throughout the whole course, but there are a lot of random manifestations if you have the eyes to see. The entertainment value in that alone was beautiful because um, I'm a little bit scientific when it comes to my occult work. <clears throat> and I myself am obsessed because I started to, uh, spirits started to manifest in my temple room on camera through incense smoke very clear manifestations and um, so this was just another way of witnessing something like that and I thought it was great another example I could give uh, Mr. Nate Bales and his new wife Scarlett Marie was sitting on the couch doing this preliminary exercise in regard to possession and EA is guiding them through it okay and as they begin the exercise this energy starts to mess with the audio equipment to the point to where I mean I heard it and perceived it as an etheric drum a big etheric drum uh, not the kind that you would try to uh, create rhythm on, of course, but just bass drum. Bang, bang, bang. And it would reverberate for a while, and then you'd hear this click, this anomaly. And it got kind of irritating, because I couldn't hear what EA was saying. But there was what I think was a glass of water on the table. It looked like a glass. But I mean, honestly, for all I know, it could have been a blue jar candle. That's how blue it was glowing. But then I looked at it and I said, no, I think that's a glass of water because I started to see different uh, symbols appear within it. Glyphs that I really am not that familiar with. And I thought that was kind of weird. I'm like, okay, it could be the sunlight flashing in but the symbols just you know kind of freaked me out i'm like no that's not the light creating this eh, it could have been oil from the man's skin when he grabbed the glass you know light manipulating this and my eyes go to scarlet because she's doing almost perfect chi sao from wing chun <laughs> her hands are just rolling perfectly and that just intrigued me. You know, I had to just look at this like, okay, is she doing chi sa? <laughs> now, while I'm doing this, I catch a spirit observing me in this glass of water. And I glance at it and poof, it's gone. I thought that was the coolest thing in the world. I thought that was awesome. Now, whether or not it was observing me, the camera, I really don't care. It was just neat because it was like, Time itself didn't matter to whatever appeared in that water.
so it was interesting to me you know this was being filmed when back whenever it was filmed and this thing is actually interacting with people just like EA on film you know knowing perfectly well that there's people that are going to be watching this thing is jam-packed besides all that put all that aside because not everybody's going to pick up, up on this stuff all that aside this course is jam-packed with practical exercises that you can use that will work in synergy with whatever tradition you are working from okay uh, because it's not about it's not about the flowers on the tree it's about the roots that's what this course is about you can put whatever flowers on the tree you choose the fact of the matter is if you purchase the course you put forth effort into the exercises you're going to achieve results it doesn't matter what magical laws or current you're working it doesn't matter with whether you're initiating yourself it's going to have a synergistic effect now with that being said you know he's simplified it in such a way and demystified it in such a way and I think that's what irritates people the most I really do I think that's what irritates people because I look at Bruce Lee and what happened with him when he first brought uh, the concept of Jeet Kune Do to the forefront of the public eye and why did they hate him because he wasn't a traditional man he taught what he learned through experience and he borrowed from wherever he could and absorbed what was useful rejected what was useless and added what is specifically his own he said it was not like the sculptor which keeps adding clay but he keeps hacking away at the unessentials until the truth is revealed that's really what has been done here and that's why people are upset and in a way I can understand but look the flowers on the tree aren't going to exist and they aren't going to bloom if these roots aren't in place you aren't going to find these practical exercises in a grimoire you're gonna find sigils you're gonna find rites but they're written from the perspective that you already have these abilities so a bunch of people are putting the cart before the horse here and they have been for hundreds of years if not thousands I mean there's just so much information that is gleaned and um, you know a lot of the exercises are very similar to things that I have instinctively done okay the things that I have done to empower myself and uh, I just found that intriguing as well not to toot my own horn but it just let me know that I was on the right track it gave me a different perspective and it allowed me to kind of refine things a bit um, I have had success with evocation before just not physical manifestation but I'm working on that that's the main goal and that's really why I wanted the course EA Coetting you did a great job brother you're ruffling some feathers that's okay you know when you're uh, doing what you need to do when you're making an impact upon the world 
that's what's going to happen, and I'm sure you already know that. Uh, I just want to give props where they're due. You did a great job. Um, the course is very well formatted and organized. It's very initiatory in nature. It's a map. And all you got to do is walk the trail. You know, I really do appreciate that. Um, I learned a lot from the course, even as an experienced uh, black magician. Um, it was awesome. Now to the rest of you haters. I am going to say this. I don't care whether or not you like the course. Just don't. You can think whatever you want. I don't care whether you like the guy as a person. I don't care if you like the course. I don't care if you have disdain towards become a living God. Just don't post it on my wall. Don't post hate on my wall within my temple. Don't put it in my inbox, not in regard to EA co-wedding or anybody else for that matter, because I get it way too much. I've said this before, and you people are not listening to me. Uh, you need to focus more on yourself instead of worrying about the achievements of everybody else. This is why you aren't achieving anything. This is why you yourself are not growing. If you want to promote your worldview, do it by talking about your worldview in a positive light and teaching. Don't do it by trying to crush everybody else in what they're trying to do. Because you can't. You're not going to take their success. There's no way you can. You're not going to do it. So why are you spinning your wheels? Just stop. That's my advice to you. With that being said, uh, I'm just going to get out of here. I think I've said enough. Check out the course. That's what I have to say. Uh, I definitely give it five stars. Five out of five, brothers and sisters. Um, um, if you are intentionally limiting your education because of tradition, I would personally call you foolish, but that's your choice. Devour, destroy, become or be crushed. Palma Hazael Draconis, signing out.